Since we got my missing backpack and my face isn't falling off anymore, we can finally start the New Zealand trip proper. Gonzo is our home for six weeks in New Zealand. Gonzo tries super hard to be an RV, but really, Gonzo's just a minivan. Cribs usually kicks the tour off with the kitchen, so let's start there. The built-in kitchen consists of a sink, two bins on racks, butane stove, and a decent sized cooler. Wicked Camper throws in some pots, plates, bowls, and a little silverware as well. We're both six feet tall. We both fit in here, but you really wouldn't want to be any bigger than us. Combined, you should be 12 feet and 400 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but every night when you crawl in here for sleepy time, you'll be glad you're not outside in tents. These camper vans have storage on storage on storage. The back area, it's a bit of a pain to get to, so we put things here that we almost never need. The front area is where we keep all our food and hide our electronics when we park. The storage area in front is great for clothing you need every day and your backpacks make little drawers under it. It's awesome. So with the table set up, it's tight in here. There's nothing around that. Plus, you have all the pillows and bed pads and blankets. But on a rainy New Zealand day, it's better to have this table option than not. It's really nice when it's not raining. The best part about Gonzo is that he helps us live that hashtag van life. No worries about making it to a hotel every night. You just need a rough idea of what campground you're gonna stay at. That means no rush going anywhere and just pull over to check out, well, anything that catches your interest. So I just pulled us off the road for 10 minutes to try to find a cave because Allison loves caves if you've seen any of the videos. Uh, after looking for a while and driving around and irritating some people, the town is called Cave. There's no caves. No caves. It's just a town called Cave. Back on schedule. We're here in March. That's New Zealand's fall. So we thought it best to head south first before it gets any colder and then head north. But spoiler alert, it's cold everywhere. These east regions of the South Island are called Canterbury and Otago. And that's where we are today on trip. This isn't even on the New Zealand can't miss list. This is just like, it's another one of the Lord of the Rings sites and maybe stop here if you have time. Since I typically don't know the names of the characters or places in any of the movies I watch and I usually just call them the good guys and the bad guys, <laughs> Tim would like me to read to you where we're going. To stand here and embarrass my, willingly embarrass myself. And I'm okay doing that. So we're going to the capital of Rohan, Kingdom of Men, located in the land once called Kalindarhan, situated in the Great Vale between the Misty Mountains and the White Mountains. And then in parentheses it says, Ered Nimras, to the south. So that's what we're gonna go see today. And I bet the Misty Mountains are just, uh, past these rolling hills, and I bet the white mountains are the bigger ones with snow on them. But that's just an educated guess. <laughs> that was terrific. We're doing it. We're finally tramping. New Zealand day one. New Zealand day one, take three. Right? That works. That's right. This well, is our third day one. This is our third, this is the real deal though. We're, yeah. we're hiking, we're gonna go see Rohan. It's right up there. I have all the essentials for my first hike, me and this lollipop. How long is this hike? Mm. I don't even like to call this a hike. You call it a tramp. It's a 45 minute, I think probably round trip. We're just going up there to go see the view. So everyone's got all their like hiking. New Zealand gear on and they're like, okay, it's a 45 minute, I don't know, we're just, we're just gonna walk over there and go take a couple pretty pictures, go up a steep incline and our first river crossing. She's gonna board it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You could step across it in the single. They're the king of the world! They're just farm blowing! 
Thanks for coming in. Oh, it's definitely raining. Sweetie, what sound does the storm make? Ah! No, what sound does it make? Well, here, look over here. Ready? Hmm. Apparently we're going swimming in this mountain lake. So, so that we can sit in the car wet for the rest of the day. Nothing says let's swim like super, super wind and melted glacial waters. Our favorite kind. Welcome to hippie life. Hopefully you can see behind me the ocean and some surfers. And look at how amazing this is. We are gonna listen to the waves all night. We've got, uh, we're gonna make some soup on our little propane tank grill. We've got some salads from the grocery store and a loaf of bread and so we're good to go. The car is messy right now because you have to take the bed apart to get to the food. But this is our view tonight. Hi, good morning. So we're driving along this gravel road, solo, clearly no one's around. You know, humans are all gravitated towards each other. And no matter how much you try to avoid it, when you pull over because you decide something's beautiful, other humans have FOMO, the fear of missing out. So we pulled over in front of this beautiful view and not 30 seconds later, this car pulled in front of our view, had to snap their picture, and off they go. Well, now it's just us again. We can continue to enjoy this beautiful sight. We have, I haven't even gotten out of the car yet. That, that all happened as, as we put the car in park. Welcome to Lake Tecapo. Since it's a lake, we decided to swim in it. This is no doubt going to be freezing. Oh, 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 it's cold. Oh. oh, there he goes. I definitely feel more like one with New Zealand. Like now people are gonna know that I'm one of their own and welcome me warmly. Here's my PSA. If you're gonna come to New Zealand and you litter, I'm gonna come punch you in the side of the head. Help give all these campers a better name here. So today we have some Megnuts. The beauty is restored to the land. Yay! We've saved the earth. <laughs> Hashtag do it for Frodo. By the way, if you're ever in the area of Lake Tecapo, be a little smarter than us. This quintessential view of Mount Cook is just west of here. You would pass that anyways if you were heading out to Queenstown, which is a really popular route coming from Christchurch for a shorter length of time on the South Island. Since we had a lot of time, we were actually hanging out on the East Coast, heading down to Moriaki. It was only 12 hours ago where we were sleeping next to the ocean watching the surfers 10 miles north of here, making dinner in our t-shirts. In, defen in defense of the local terrain, it is like Antarctica down there, so it's not entirely its fault here. Oh yeah, we didn't even say what we're doing. Come on, we're gonna go check out the ocean. Check out these boulders. Well, we're here at the boulders. You look at that, I'm, I'm not incredibly disappointed. There's at least 10 boulders. 
They look like the pictures. I don't think I like this. I don't think this would be on my items to recommend. But this is on the east coast of the island. Most of the tourist stops on the west coast. So if this is like a bucket list thing that you were contemplating driving hours to come see. You can't even imagine if you pulled the trigger and arrived and this is what you were here to find. 